Hello, thank you very much for joining me again in the studio in South Wales, UK, where I paint away the stress of everyday life. I've got a bit of cardboard again in front of me. Um, I love painting on cardboard, as you know if you've followed along. Now, I've had um, an inquiry from one of my subscribers saying, um, we want to, I want to try and understand compliments. So I thought I would do a painting with compliments today. Um, compliments are basically the colours, if you're on a colour wheel, on the opposite side of the colour wheel. I'll just show you very quickly what I mean. And um, Okay, so we are, we've we got a colour wheel. If you can get one of these, it's great. Um, you can get them all in different sizes, obviously. So you've got red, red-orange, orange, yellow-orange, orange, yellow, yellow-green, green, blue-green, green, blue, blue-violet, violet, red-violet and red. So the opposite of red is green, the opposite of orange is blue, the opposite of yellow is violet and anything in between. So when, you, when you're designing or painting a painting, the colours that work well together are the colours either side of your main colour. So let's just say for argument's sake, I'm going to be using a lot of orange in this colour, in this painting today. So I'll be looking at say yellow orange or a red orange, opposite to that would be blue. So blue greens and blue violets. So anything in that colour range would work really well as far as complements are concerned. And when you mix um, an orange and blue together, I'll show you the what happens to that. So mixing the opposite colour should dechromorize that colour or dull it back in theory. So without further ado, I'm just going to grab a brush. That's a little bit hard, so I'm just going to let that soak in there. I didn't wash that one very well. <laughs> I'd left a little bit of paint on the end of that one. I've left a bit of paint on the end of this one too. So that's what happens when you you don't wash your brushes very well. <coughs> you don't wash your brushes well. I have a bit of a coughing fit then. When you don't wash your brushes well enough, they'll go hard. So be very careful and maintain your brushes really well. <sighs> I'm just checking and I'm not too much in camera shot here. Okay, so I'm going to start at the top of the... I haven't put any white on my palette. Let me just do that. Oh, a big tub of white here today. Whoops. <laughs> I'm all fingers and thumbs in the studio today. Do you get days like that? If you get days like that, just let me know. I'm battling with a, with a cough as well. I don't know why all of a sudden I've got this cough. I am coughed all morning. And as soon as I come in the studio, I turn the cameras on, I start to cough. So it's going to be one of them days today, I think. But never mind, we have to cope with that. So let, let's get a little bit of sk sky, a bit of blue on my brush, a little bit of white paint, a little bit of white paint, and I'm just going to go in, because we said about a blue sky. Now, the colours that I've got on my palette are um, colours that I don't normally, normally use, um, because I've been going through my my painting drawer, I got a drawer uh, in the cabinet that I've got my mixing palette on and um, I want to get a, I want to get a lot more white down here I'll tell you why in a second and um, I've, I found some old colours and I thought that would be nice if I just used up a couple of old tins of paint or tubes of paint um, in, in, that I've got flying around in the drawer. The, some of them have gone a little bit on the hard side. Um, so I've had to uh, use um, a little bit of water mixed in with paint just to, just to loosen it up a little bit. Um, and that's, that's okay, you can do that. A little bit more white. Let's get this guy to come in like this. I don't think I'm going to do many clouds as such today. Maybe just a few wispy ones. There we are. As I come down here, I want to come a bit whiter there. Just taking the blue off my brush. I just want to come in with a bit of white there. Just like that. I'll just come up there. Bush. <laughs> As my friend Jason Bowen says, bush. He says bush a lot, he does. Right, let's put a few just wispy. Nothing really, just a few little marks in the sky, just like that, just to 
See, there's maybe an essence of clouds or something. Clouds are not always fluffy. There we go. That'll do. There we are. Just nice and easy and simple like that. So I'm going to wash this brush. I'm going to get another small brush um, out of my palette. Um, so let's get some orange there. You see this is a ni nice soft orange. I actually um, did a quick short video of how to extend paint. So if you want to, if you've got that much paint left, so you've got a little blob of paint like that and you want to double that in size, have a look at my short. It shows you how to double the paint. So there's there's orange. So the opposite to orange on my the opposite to orange on my uh, on my scale is blue. So what happens if I add a bit of blue to that? So let's just get a small amount of blue. What happens if I add blue to that? You can see it just really dirties that that orange. It looks very very similar to like a like a an amber color. There we are. It looks just to chrome rises it completely. Just the chrome rises, just make it like a really dirty looking orange. There we go. And the same if you add blue. If you've got a little bit of blue there, like that. And you add a bit of orange to that. Look at the difference already. What a wonderful colour though. Two wonderful colours. That's, that's quite a dark looking colour, isn't it? You added a little bit of burnt ember to that, you could make a nice black out of that look. Well actually I've just added green, doesn't matter. But if what I meant to say is if you added um, burnt ember to that, that's actually green. <laughs> I made a big boo-boo. So there we are. So that's what happens when you add your complementary colours together. Just the chrome rises and make them dirtier and dulls them back basically. Um, and that's, that's basically what it comes down to. So have a little play around, um, experiment with that. Now, what I'm going to do, if I mix yellow into this sky, it could go a little bit green. So I'm going to just put a smallest amount of orange first, just there like this. Now we also know by mixing blue and orange together, it's just going to dechromerize just that little bit. But what I want to do is just get that colour to blend in. So I'm working my, my brush onto my trousers. There we go. Just blending that into that sky just like that. Nice bit of orange sky. the orange down just to lighten that up sparkle that up so we got we got the orange orange and blue orange and blue so the orange and blue these are complementary colors what I'm doing is adding the yellow in just to lighten that up. Just like that. Get a bit of orange on my brush. Now we can darken the orange by adding a little bit of red. So if you want to darken the orange, just add red to it. See? There's a little bit of red there that I've managed to salvage from an old colour. Old um, tube of paint, sorry, not an old colour, old tube of paint. So I just want to get a bit of that, that red in because what's the opposite of red is green. So we need to put some green in into this painting as well. It's reflexive. I've got a quite a harsh line there, so what I'm gonna do is get another brush and Oh, what was that? Something just went bang. Did you hear that? It wasn't any of my cameras, I hope. Something just went bang. Hmm. So 
I've just got a damp brush and I'm blending that in, getting rid of that hard line that we got there. Just like that. <coughs> what we could do, if you wanted to, we could get a little bit of orange, a little bit of orange like that, and add our blue to it. orange orange and blue so you've got that dark color from wispy wispy clouds just like that just little strokes just don't worry too much about it don't worry too much about it don't when we go shape and form and thing like that, all we're doing is talking about compliments today. So I'm trying to build the painting up with a little bit of complementary colour. So we've got some darker, darker uh, um, clouds there, some lighter clouds in the background there. And um, we can get a little bit of yellow on the bottom of these. Clouds there. Just like that. A little bit of yellow, just on the bottom of these clouds. Just like that. You can hear my little dog barking, I hope. She's okay. I think she's just barking. I think somebody's trying to cut the grass or something out there today. A little bit of cloud. And we're going to a little bit of a sun. Maybe just rising there. A bit of light. Catch him. Not too much. Just a sparkle of highlight or something like that. There we go. You get the idea. You get the idea. I'm not. I'm not standing too much on perfection today. But I want. I'm talking about compliments. So if you've just joined me and you've just skipped through the, the video then, all I'm doing today is talking about compliments. I'm going to let that dry a minute. I'm going to let that dry a minute. Just wash our brush again. Just washing our brush out. So now I want to do <coughs> is bring this yellow, a little bit of yellow, a little bit of red together. Bring that down here. little bit of yellow. So what's the opposite of yellow? The yellow is a violet. So we could put some violet in in the water if we wanted to, couldn't we? We could if we wanted to. Let's get a bit of white. And get some yellow. Nice vibrant colours today. This is what we like. Nice vibrant colours. Like that. Get a bit of white. Get a bit more orange over this side. Mixing that in like this. Get some of that yellow. I'm just putting some colour down, just like that. And maybe we we'll wash our brush. I'm just going to check my cameras are okay. I'm going to try. Just put a little tiny bit of blue on my brush. And just put a little bit of blue there like that and a little bit of blue there. Just like that. Mix 
mixing that in. It's going a little bit green. That's cool. That's what we want. Believe me, I'm not. believe me, I'm happy with that. There we are. So there we go. We've already got some sort of essence of something going on there. All I'm worrying about. I've got no plan really. I'm just thinking of, of what I said in the beginning. All I'm got I'm trying to do here is I got a bit of Mars black, some green. All I'm trying to do now today. Add a little bit of red to that. Is we talk about compliments. So I want a nice dark colour now, because now I want to put in maybe a little bit of land or something just in the background there, like that. Maybe it's a bit of a, a mountain or something. I don't know. I'm just making this up now, really, as I'm painting and. The fun thing about doing that is that we learn more. Sometimes, sometimes things go wrong. Sometimes things just go wrong and we have to try and go with the flow as they say. Just go with the flow. Just put in a little bit of shadow in there getting this land maybe I'll get this land just to go along and there and up a little bit more there maybe there's a little bit of shadow in that water like that who knows you make it up this is your painting yellow now and a bit of yellow over there a little bit of white I think I'm gonna put a bit of that white in there yellow and white just to brighten up a touch just put a few highlights just like that there's that light from that Sun it's just catching just the essence of light on these mountains and things like that. Do, 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 do. do a little bit more to that in a second actually I'll tell you what I could do really um, let me just draw a little I need to get a little bit more water a little bit more moisture on my brush I'm just going to draw just a few little lines Now it's starting to come together, I think. What we want to do now is get some of this black colour, get some green into this black colour. Black and green. Ooh, what a wonderful colour that is. And we're just going to go like a blush. Just like that. Blush.
just tapping the brush just like this. that <laughs> now we want to do a little bit there not too much this side okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna throw in a few winky wonky ones at this come down in the front and just come around like this a bit more green Maybe, maybe. Just a few. Bits and pieces like that. Because <laughs> what I want to do now is get my script lining brush. This is a, a script lining brush. And we want to get some of this green now and I'm making this really really thin I'm just checking everything is recording because now I just want to throw in some lines like this Well, thicker ones, a couple of thin ones, We're throwing them in. there few tiny ones there like that do some this side give me some of these ones there like this coming into some pure black When you make paintings up like this, it's very important that you just have fun, I think. So the opposite of, of green is that lovely red colour. So we've got the reds, we've got the greens, we've got the blues, we've got orange, orange and blue, we've got orange and blue there, we've got the reds, we're going to put some greens in there in a second. So let's just get a bit more yellow into this. There we go. So just lighten that up now with a little bit of yellow and then just put a few of them in just like this and you can see all of a sudden just by doing little blades of grass and things reeds it's a marvellous way of actually creating 
a wonderful painting with minimal effort and I think that's the key to any really good painting is to have that minimal effort and maximum effect just like that You could paint on and on and on. We could get some little leaves and things if you wanted to. You could just put a few of these in, just like this. Maybe this is just a couple of these little um, leaves and things that we we'll live in on these, whatever they are. <laughs> I don't know what they are actually. And then we could put a few of them there. We could get some nice yellow, nice yellow colour now, just like that. Maybe it's just catching some of that light coming off that sun, just like that. You get the idea. You get the idea. You just have fun. I could play this. I could do this for hours and hours and hours now. I could play with that for hours and hours and hours and hours and hours and hours. And hours. <laughs> what I want is um, a little brush. I'll put a little bit of Water line just there, a bit of water line coming in, just like that. Could get some of our, we could do um, some of this orangey color, put a bit of earth in, just like that. See this this dechromerized orange. We we added the blue to it, so we could just put some earth in on this. We could even get a, a black rock or two sitting there. Another one there. Get a bit of this orangey colour just to put some highlight on the tops of these rocks, just like that. Maybe just a little bit of yellow. So we put a little bit of light just catching the tops of these rocks, just like that. Only a little bit. Just as always a highlight there. There we go. We have a little bit of highlight there. Park into a little scribby light in a brush. Not to forget this lovely little group of baby ones. Oof, wonderful, 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 wonderful. Maybe just a few little bits and pieces, just, I don't know, you tell me, I don't know. Just to lift things a bit, just, we could just put a few little, maybe these are little, just little flower things, I don't know, you tell me, you tell me. And get some water. Make this white very, very thin. I could just put a, a 
as to glow in this sky. Just like that. Not too much. Not too much. Just a little. Just a little, just to give it a little bit of a, a glow. Rubbing it with my finger just a touch like that. And then we could finish the painting today. With my little birds that I try to put in on every painting if I can. There we go. <laughs> Have a bit of fun, enjoy it. Do a, a painting in compliments. Don't have any idea when you sit down. Just look at your colour wheel, decide what colours you want in your painting, and just come up with a fantastic, easy, really painting that you can do. That's all you need to do. But I believe in you, I know you can do it. Anyway, I'll see you next time. Have a fab day. Bye.